Okay, so first Zika was found in 1947 from mosquitoes in Africa and uh, it's apparently been around in Africa for, for a while but uh, mostly people collected from mosquito samples and um, a, a little after on the 60s they found uh, uh, the, the same virus in Asia and they were already dissimilar. So uh, what we did, we, we did a phylogenetic analysis to compare uh, all the available strains and we saw that there was like that huge difference between um, that clade from the African clade to the Asia Pacific clade. And then we started investigating like wh what are those changes? So uh, one of the things that it's kind of like a personal belief I cannot prove yet is that there's a big reservoir of Zika in Asia and, and not in Africa. Although it was first identified in Africa and it makes sense that the host is in Africa uh, and um, there was like a presentation that was pretty much showing uh, the evolution of the vector and vector getting out of, of Asia and, and then being spread. Uh, I have that strong feeling that if it came out of Africa was like so so much long ago that those two strains are like it's not a new strain that came in like a little while ago but it was something that was already circulating in, in stealth in Asia before so um, with that said uh, what what we're trying to test now um, we, we recently published uh, the evolution of the virus but we didn't include any weather data or more like vector uh, distribution data so we, we want to use that to see if there was like a change in uh, of, of the weather that maybe did that um, how, how can I put um, increased the, the, dis the burst of Zika on the outbreaks that were like in 2007 and then it remained under stealth because people were not looking at it like a, a bad disease and there was this problem of like how can you differentiate Zika from dengue and, and other uh, diseases too if you just have like mild fever and body pain you, you don't have like any of like those microcephalic uh, or that the whole neuro syndrome that that been coming so um, we identified a couple mutations